gear kicks keep getting jammed or countered a lot more often than you'd like, if that's the case, keep watching because in this video we're going to talk about one of the most common mistakes that people make while they're training their kicks and we're getting started right now. What's happening friends? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time on here though and you're a martial artist looking to get the most out of your training and gain your edge, then make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification. That way you won't miss a thing. But with that, let's get to it. All right, let's start this off by asking ourselves a quick question. If our legs are a lot heavier, a lot slower, and they have to travel a long range and that my back leg, if I'm throwing, let's say, a back leg round kick to the head, it has to go from all the way down here all the way up to their head before they can do this. All right, so in that case, why in the world would I kick in the first place? Mm. And obviously a couple things come to mind. The first most obvious one is that it's a lot of power that I can generate with it. Because of the sheer mass and the momentum that I can generate, you can create some devastating impact. But the really the main reason that we're gonna be talking about today is distancing. So if I'm throwing a kick and I'm throwing a punch, I can obviously throw my kicks from further away and therefore utilize an entirely different distance away from my opponent to kind of maximize what I can do. All right, now this brings us to the mistake that I see quite often when people are training on the bags or even with partners. And that's that they throw their punches from here, one, two, and then throw their kick from the same range, like this. All right, so a couple things bad happen with this. First of all, I completely eliminate my kicking distance, which is the whole advantage of throwing a kick. All right, second of all, I'm kicking, I have to kick with my hips back because of the distance. So you, you can't even rotate into the kick entirely. Now there are certain instances where you will kick from close range, but those are more exceptions than rules. All right, and that usually happens as we progress up in rank not as much in lower rank. So as we move with our techniques, we need to make sure that we're utilizing the distance that they're made for. Now, if I'm throwing my punches from here, in order for me to kick, one of two things would have to happen. I would either have to move back, or in a perfect world, the other person moves back. All right, so that's our main objective, that's our main goal, is to get the other person to make distance for us. Because obviously if I go one, two, back up, and then throw my kick, it's gonna be easy to see. But if I get the other person just by sheer intent, if I'm coming forward and punching, and they really want to get out of the way, they're gonna back up, and that's gonna make distance for your kick. So that's really what we wanna look at as we're training. So if I throw my punches one, two, and all they do is block and stay there, then I would suggest just to throw another punch, maybe a sweep if you do that in your school and your style, all right? Or create an angle. So you might punch, punch, and then step off to the side, and that creates a distance where you can kick from. If you throw a punch, punch, and then back up, and then throw your kick, most likely they're gonna see it coming and either counter you or just block, all right? So as we do this, we're gonna throw one, two, and push this hand out there as if I was going to actually push them backwards. This is gonna create a little bit more willingness to move away, and that's gonna help you get that technique. Now, if you're training on the bag, all you have to do is back up a little bit, throw your techniques from here at a range where you won't be able to hit the bag. So if I throw from this distance, no matter how hard I try, Obviously, I'm not gonna reach the, uh, reach the bag with a punch. So I'm gonna go one, two, and then right from here, I'm not going to pull this back to a guard. I'm gonna go right from this technique, right into my kick, and then right back down. All right, so on the bag, it's fairly easy, but what we wanna train is sheer technique and fluid motion. So I'm not going one, two, back, and then go. I'm going one, Two, and right at the end of this technique, my kick will go, all right? Now, when you're training with a partner, instead of just working on distancing, you're gonna also have to work on timing. So timing is a huge aspect when it comes to creating distance and being at the right distance. So if I throw 
one, two, three, as fast as I can, but that person does not back up that fast, I'm gonna jam myself up, and it wasn't even something that they did. I'm gonna go too fast and be at too close of a range to kick. So if you're working with a partner, my suggestion is to have them move at different times. So if you throw one, two, and you're gonna throw that kick, sometimes have them move immediately back into your round kick position. Sometimes have them wait for a split second and then move. Sometimes have them not move at all and make it up to them what they wanna do. Because if they don't move at all, we obviously shouldn't be kicking. We should follow up with a punch or a sweep or whatever we wanna do from that point. So if I go one, two, and they immediately move back, I can immediately throw my kick. If it takes a second, I want to give them that time and then take my technique out there right after that. All right, so I hope this tip was helpful for everybody. If you have any questions or comments on it, please drop them in the comment section down below. If there's anything else that you could need any help with, please drop that down there as well. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I possibly can, perhaps even create a new video for you. So other than that, I'm gonna put some links over on the side here if you wanna check out some of the other training videos. Make sure you also click that subscribe button because we put out videos every week to help you get the most out of your training. All right, thank you so much. Have an awesome time training, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.